boys today we are ranking every cereal you see i was sent a challenge a decree from lord j schlatt himself the man who suffered a heart attack so recently on top of the throne to rate every cereal that he rated himself so i went out well actually I had slime do it and um Cereal! C cereal! We got 50 boxes of cereal. I'm gonna eat a lot of cereal today. That's the plan. We're gonna eat cereal. So, we do have a bunch of cereal, as you can see behind me, and we're gonna be eating said cereal. And then we're gonna take every single one and put it onto this tier list. I have six different ways it can be ranked. S, A, B, C, D, F. I don't believe in E's. I don't know why Schlatt used E's. What the hell is an E? Now, look, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. I'm challenging Ludwig and Connor Eats Pants to do this tier list with their own opinions, and uh, let me see what you got. A challenge, but I have a problem with this. Can we just take a look at him eating his first box of cereal? It's sweet, but it's not so sweet to the point where you feel bad if you eat like a lot of them. Plus, I like the mascot. He's a honeybee. Bees are endangered. You get my pity vote. This cereal is a solid B. What, what is going on with his mouth? Sahara style, just munching on cereal? Like a small animal sweeping the floors? I don't get it. Why? No milk? Now look. There's 50 boxes of cereal. I understand here that there's a little bit of math involved. Calories in versus humans' ability to take calories, all right? There's some X plus Y shit going on. Y equals MX plus B. I don't know, but I feel like this has to be judged with milk. I'll leave it to a chat vote. How about that? After a thousand votes, I think that's pretty unanimous. I want to start out strong, so let's start out with one of my favorite childhood brands, General Mills. You know, like... Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Tricks, Cocoa Puffs. Basically, the adult men that spent hundreds of millions of dollars so that I would remember these iconic brands until the day that I die. Probably better than my aunt's birthday. Like, I remember the Reese's Puffs song. I don't know when my aunt's born. I have three. I'd have to guess on all of them. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs, peanut butter chocolate flavor. But let's start a bit controversial. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I feel like that's an all or nothing type cereal. Seeing a lot of S's, seeing a lot of F's, like a fine whiskey. <sighs> that's great. Man, I've always enjoyed Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but I've always felt like there wasn't enough cinnamon. It felt like, in a way, it was pretty good tasting cardboard coated with cinnamon. But, like, the root of it is not cinnamon, you know? Uh, it's good cereal. It's not an S for me. It's not, like, the best cereal. I don't go out of my way to go get Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But I definitely enjoy the crunch and the cinnamon flavors enough to give it an A. I always have this problem where whenever I open the cereal box, it, like, expands and widens. What is that? What is that? What is that science? Why, when I open it, am I unable to close it? Has it thickened? They all become pregnant instantaneously. And then the shit rips. The flap. We're still on the flap. It's 2020. Marty McFly said we were supposed to have hoverboards. We can't figure out a better solution than the flap. The flap fucking sucks. I hate gravity and I hate the flap. Tricks. It's not that bad. I feel like people give tricks a hard rap. But it's also not that good. I taste a lot of corn in it. And then the berry only comes from like the artificial berry. It's like a solid C tier. Not a D. No, 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 no. We'll get to the Ds. Let's just wait. Like maybe with Cocoa Puffs. I mean, that's one of the main benefits of having a chocolate cereal. Is that after a while of mixing around, it, it emulsifies? That's probably not the right word. It's okay. It's okay. I don't think I'm a huge fan of ball-shaped cereal. Not to rag on something so minute, but I just don't think it gives you enough crunch. I don't know. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, it the, the chocolate flavor's alright. I would say that's like literally just a chocolate version of Trix. In fact, I know that's what it is because it's made by the same exact company. I'm sure the balls start out in the same exact line and they just put them through choco dusting instead of berry dusting. Cookie crisp. 2020. How come? How come? How come we can't figure this out? What's going on? I'm seeing a lot of S's and F's and almost nothing in between. Wow. Things change when you grow old. This is one of my favorite cereals growing up. 
trying it right now after you chew it for a bit it has this like styrofoam effect where you have to continue chewing but it's not flavorful anymore i don't know how that happened but it, it's happening it's happening quite a, a lot in fact i don't mind them i kind of like the crunch but the actual flavor is a bit cardboardy it's probably a d because i think flavor is most important it's better without milk i couldn't care less that's a bad that's like an insult to the cereal if it's better without milk that means it's a bad cereal all right we got reese's puffs i used to love reese's puffs i don't know if they hold up i haven't had reese's puffs in a bit but top though cream that's an s that is undoubtedly an s the peanut butter mild but cuts nicely into the chocolate a perfect mixture it feels like every bite tastes the same, even though the balls are different. I don't know how they've done it. They've mixed peanut butter and chocolate so seamlessly. It's pronounced Reese's. Yeah, but psychopaths call it that because I was six when I found out about Reese's and I said Reese's and that's what he said in the schoolyard. And I stay true to young me. You've changed. I haven't. Lucky Charms. I went through a big Lucky Charms phase when I was a kid. Sometimes I would do the for forbidden fruit method where I would eat all of the, the rice granules, whatever you call them, and then I would wait until it's just mushrooms. Or, no, uh, what do you call them? Marshmallows, yeah. <laughs> and then I would eat just the marshmallows. That's sugary. That's like a dessert. It's not bad. It's like a solid B tier for me. I enjoy it in, in moderation. Why do they even have this many Cheerios? It doesn't make sense. This is regular Cheerios. Yellow box. Good for my heart or something, which will be helpful after eating 50 boxes of cereals. Nice. Insane. It is crazy how quickly the cereal softened and more importantly, how, how tasteless this is. That's not, that's not great at all. I would look like a healthier person if I didn't do this, but I'm not about health here. I'm ranking on how much I enjoy this cereal. And I just didn't. I just didn't like it at all. I'm shocked at how flavorless that really was. This is already pathetic. Schlatt, what are you doing here? Sorry, should we do it chipmunk style? Like the family dog under the table? No milk, have an ass? How are you gonna have a million subs on YouTube and you don't own milk? How does that even happen? I'm, I'm, I'm happy with chocolate Cheerios. I'll put them a B. Let's continue on my Cheerios train. You need to call me immediately? Schlatt, are you already upset? Big guy. I'm honestly, I'm honestly what? fucking disgusted with this, what? Ludwig. What's wrong? Schlatt, what, what's I'm up, buddy? Honestly, you are, you are, you are a fucking heathen. What? You're a heathen. What is breakfast to you? It, it's the, what do you think breakfast is? It's a balanced meal that starts out my day. A balanced meal? Yes. Reese's Puffs S tier. Reese's Puffs S tier. Regular yellow box Cheerios F tier. Are you fucking kidding me? What what are you on? Some health nut kick? What are you doing rice what do you bowls? Mean, what am I? What you listen to what the fuck you just said, bro? Breakfast is a is a balanced balanced start to the day? Can, Can you, you understand? Puffs? You don't even know how to say it right. Schlatt. You, you called it Reese's. You called it Reese's. That's because I'm experiencing you, my childhood you're, joy. You're completely, you're completely disrespecting what the fuck Cheerios are all about. Dude, yellow box Cheerios are the fucking OG, and you're putting them on the F tier. You don't even know what Cheerios are about, dude, because all you care about is fucking instant gratification. Reese's Puffs, S tier. You don't know what the fuck Cheerios okay, are even Schlatt, about, dude. Schlatt, Get the fuck out of here. Can you recognize what? that we Ding. are sheep to the corporations that marketed this towards us? That there are oh literally aisles God. dedicated to this product. If you want to talk about balanced breakfast, you don't go to the cereal aisle, Schlatt. That's how it works. Oh, you go for some God. complex Listen, carbohydrates like sorry, oatmeal Lord, or something. Some of us don't have 30,000 subscribers. Some of us work in the fucking mines. You know, we don't have time to, to Schlatt, make ourselves a you balanced have 1. breakfast. 1.5 million subs, get the and you play the same video game every day for the past Sometimes week for your YouTube, we need to and you made more than any coal miner ever has. Sometimes we need to get the yellow fucking Cheerios. Lord. You are morally bankrupt. No. You Morally have changed from a SpongeBob to a Squidward, and I don't know when it happened, Schlatt. Spiritually bankrupt. Schlatt of old wouldn't be like this. Bankrupt. Old Dude, Schlatt would church. munch on sugary cereals and play church. Minecraft. I'm say a prayer for you. I hope you're not, hope you're not fucking Protestant. So. What does my Christianity have to do with it? I apologize to Schlatt. I can't wait 
when he's 97 and I'm dead at 96 for him to spit on my grave and drop a full load of yellow box Cheerios. Look, we understand that if you're really trying to go all out, you can do yellow box cereal. Better yet, you can do oatmeal. No sweetener at all. Rice with chicken. Maybe a little bit of salt, not too much though. And you can get out of there a lean 150 all muscle till you're 130 years old. But what's life about? It's about gratification. It's about balance. It's about having some good with some bad. Now, Schlatt, he can be eat to live all he wants. But I don't eat to live. I live to eat. So, bitches, if it's got a little bit of sugar, and that makes me a little more gratified for that four hours, so be it. Berry Cheerios. Also, he didn't use milk. It's cringe. Pumpkin Spice Cheerios. It's pretty good. No cap. It's not bad. The flavor goes away very quickly. Put it at like a low C. Apple cinnamon. More spices. I do like cinnamon. I'm a huge apple cinnamon guy in general. That's good. I think cinnamon's just a great flavor. I'd put them at like an A. It's slightly better cinnamon than Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I don't know. I feel like you can't go too wrong with Cheerios. I feel like the floor for Cheerios is like a C. Oh. Uh, the floor for this Cheerio is like a C. Which leads us to our final Cheerios. Honey Nut. Honey Nut Cheerios, admittedly, for all the, 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 the shit I'm giving Schlatt, is something I would eat as like, you know, just munching on. They're pretty fire. But let's see if they hold up. I mean, God just knocked it out of the park with honey. And it doesn't expire? Uh, yeah, I love Honey Nut Cheerios. That's probably like my, my go-to cereal. I'd put it S tier. It is polarizing to have Honey Nut at the top and Cheerios at F. But that's where the list is going. So let's keep it rolling. Now, I have a problem. I asked Slime to get me these cereals. And he got me a bunch. And I appreciate that. But he did get, you know, chocolate. Or excuse me, Honey Nut Checks. Peanut Butter Checks. Vanilla checks, blueberry checks, and hold up. I think we're missing chocolate checks and rice checks. The original and the chocolate version, which is a bit of a problem because chocolate checks is probably my favorite cereal at the moment. But whatever, we'll move on. Someone said blueberry checks is fire. I'm curious. Let's try it out. I want to like these, but I think they're fucking terrible. And that's just my god honest opinion. I'd put them up. Uh, below Cheerios, but at this point, it's funnier to just have them above. No milk tier list? Yeah, and then I'll make a tier list of the favorite places to murder people. I'm not a psychopath. I eat cereal with milk. I'm flawed as a human. I still pour the milk first. We don't have to talk about this too much, but look, I eat milk and I eat cereal together. How are you guys going to roast me for pouring the milk first when there are people literally asking for no milk? What is worse? A milk first pourer? Or someone who doesn't use milk at all. Explain me that. Riddle me that. All right, we're doing a poll. Uh, you guys decided that pouring the milk first is weirder than eating mil uh, cereal with no milk. How? This is fire. I kind of fuck with checks. Honey nut checks. I think honey's just kind of a goaded flavor. It's like a high A. I think I'm just a sucker for checks and Cheerios. I am not a fan of Rice Krispies. Like, I get it. Snap, crackle, pop. But they're so small. It fucks up my proportions because like normally I have a spoon and then the size of the spoon can only fit like, you know, a certain amount of cereal. And then you do Rice Krispies and it always does. It does this thing where there's like just fucking 800 and it's like a infestation that you cannot get rid of. I got nothing to chew on, but yet I'm chewing on so much. I just hate the shape of them. I'm not a gerbil. This is not. I don't like doing that. I think I might put all of them in D. Uh, all right, let's try regular Cap'n Crunch. Yeah, it is a weird flavor, because I don't think I have that flavor ever. It's just corn that's just sweeter. It's probably one of the sweetest cereals. It's like a B. Also, to the makers of box tops, how am I supposed to get the flap into the tap? Like, I've punched the hole in there, but it does not easily go in. I cannot easily get that in. Am I missing a step? I had these problems when I was four... And I'm having these problems when I'm 25. Cap'n Crunch's Peanut Butter Crunch. These are fire. They are pretty much Reese's Puffs without the chocolate. And they have a big, strong hint of corn still. I'd still put them at like an A. I just think peanut butter is good. 
I'm gonna keep it a buck. I am biased towards peanut butter. That is true. All right, crunch berries. I do love the crunch. Like, probably a little bit better than regular Cap'n Crunch. Because it has more flavor than just the corn. It's not that great. Alright, this is life. Good old-fashioned life. I mean, that's just straight sugar, right? Like, a lot of these are sugary cereals, but they are masked through flavors. So the sugar is delivered through a vehicle, outside of, like, the frosted ones. It's definitely better than Apple Cinnamon Cheerios and Honey Nut Chex. I'm gonna go for a round two. It's great. But, sometimes when you don't know immediately, maybe that is you knowing. But not knowing. Top of A. Like, sometimes in life, if you don't immediately know that it's the one, maybe that's you knowing that it's not the one. So if they're asking yourself, is this an S? Maybe that's your answer that it's not an S. All right. Uh, speaking of too big for my mouth. Uh, my mom never bought these, but my friend had these. Yeah, they're still f***ing huge. They're very mid. Like, they're very big. Which is kind of a cool novelty, but they're so soft that you lose the crunch almost immediately after they're in milk for more than like a minute. That is, has to be a solid D tier for me. Has to be F. You know what? These might be. Because I have never heard of these before. This is so bold. This is mini wheats filled with berries. Wow. That has to be the single worst cereal I have ever had in my life. <laughs> this is terrible. It's like they put like, like gusher bursts inside of it. Is this with milk? Like if I was eating it just like that, it's not too bad. Really, it's not. But like when you put it in the milk, it like softens it. And then the inside becomes like weirdly gooey. This is f***ing terrible. What were they thinking? Let's continue on the filled path with uh, Crave. Hmm. Crave is basically like... Cereal with little chocolate inside of it. It's okay. It's very sweet, but not too intoxicatingly sweet. I like it. I think it'd be top of B for me. UK kicking and screaming that the only cereal representation they have in this list is a B. Sorry, boys. Go to Tesco's. Get the meal deal and suck it up. You'll be fine. Tommy and it will be live soon. Everything will be good in the world. Pops! Pops are mid as hell. Corn flavor is just not something that I am that obsessed with. And I know that the U.S. Agricultural Department it wants me to be, but I just, I'm not. I'm going to put it high D. All right. They're more than good. They're great. Said Tony the Tiger many, many goddamn times. Frosted Flakes, I feel like, is one cereal that sometimes gets a debuff being in milk. Probably like the most known culprit of going soggy. But if you get them fresh... They're pretty good. Wow. This is interesting. I'm going to hide the screen. I'm going to rank it. And then I'm going to put the screen back. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm kidding. It's a little bit better than mini wheats. <laughs> no, I'm double kidding. I'm double kidding. This will be my real rank though. I ranked it worse on purpose at the start. So that you guys would find it to be funny. But this is my legitimate ranking. So... It was more like, you know, like hit him with some really bad news so that this bad news doesn't seem as bad. Frosted Flakes, on hindsight, are not that great. They're not more than good. They are just good. That's all they are. I mean, they're fine. It's just literally sugar in, in cereal. But this one's more sugary and gets soggy quicker, which, uh, which I don't think is a buff. All right, this is Apple Jacks. They're always kind of weird because they're like... I don't know, I feel like most cereal is very hard, and then you put it in milk, and it softens, and then it stays in milk, and it's very soft. But Apple Jacks, even in its raw form, are just, like, soft. I'm kind of a fan of Apple Cinnamon. I think Apple Cinnamon Cheerios are literally just a better Apple Jacks. I would put this at a solid B. <sighs> okay, I have one, two, three, four, eleven, twelve, thirteen 12, 13 cereals more. Oh, my God. This is the long haul, boys. Hey, if you guys are watching... Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube, guys. I'd really appreciate it. I love doing this for the YouTube. I love doing this for you guys. Just making content's my passion. We're going to keep finishing this out. I just can't have too much more sugar. Which is why we're trying Oreos. Okay. If you have never tried this, have cereal. Whatever cereal you like. Take an Oreo. Hold it like this, right? 
and then just push your thumbs through the middle. It'll break into four. Put that in the cereal. I know. You might be thinking, Ludwig, that's, that's insane. Well, look, I mean, we eat Oreos as a treat, but Oreos and milk, great combo. Cereal with milk, we know that. Oreos in that, five head. And I, and I bring that up because that is a much better solution than buying whatever the hell Oreos is. Like, look, I get it. They kind of got the flavor down in a way, I guess. I could just have actual Oreos and it would be a better experience. They're like, uh, oops, all berries for me. It's too much of a good thing. Raisin Bran. I'm gonna have the most fibrous shit of all time. I'm gonna ship bamboo. I'm gonna poop and I'm just gonna rise in the toilet seat because of the strength of the bamboo with all the fibers. Raisin Bran's pretty fire. I'm looking where to put it. It's not better than life, but it's better than Honey Nut Checks. That's always my line. Is it better than Honey Nut Checks? The answer is yes, it is. Corn flakes are frosted flakes without sugar. Wheaties are corn flakes made with like whole grain weird shit that makes it harder and less tasty so this for me is like i'm gonna put it low b golden grams as a kid this was like that shit they're so good uh they are definitely an s tier i fuck with golden grams in a major way fruity pebbles i have the same problem with fruity pebbles that i had with the crispies it mainly comes down to uh to the size and shape of them i just don't like the giant ocean of them that enter my mouth it's like what i imagine whales feel like when they eat krill i like chewing something cocoa pebbles are much the same but cocoa flavored not gonna try them because i know where to put them boom boom for me i hate not being able to i like munching you know what i mean that's what i'm eating cereal for they made cereal for ants fruit loops they're literally apple jacks without cinnamon they're the same thing. It's all they are. They're literally just Apple Jacks without cinnamon. All right, we got Honey Bunches of Oats. Oh, so this is the only one we got. Uh, I like the almond one as well. Um, but the honey one's the one I decided to rank because it's the one Schlatt ranked. Having said that, it's fire. I mean, this is a fire cereal. This is like, whether it's Honey Bunches of Oats or the almond one or whatever it is, the blue box is the one I like. Uh, th th this, this one's money. Kicks time. It's time for some kicks. I don't know if I know what kicks tastes like. Wow. What's that flavor? It's so forgettable and unmemorable. What do you call that? Corn? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're not great. Special K chocolate. This is our final cereal. At long last, our journey has come to an end. Is that just straight up chocolate? That's crazy. They just put straight up chocolate in it. I've never had these before. This cereal is a beautiful, delicious, succinct masterpiece belonging at the top of C. It's pretty good. It's like a top of C for me. Maybe like B. But that's my final list. Look, do you disagree? Maybe. And you are fully in your rights to do that. But if you do disagree, make your own tier list. Uh, Schlatt has a template. I'll link it in uh, the YouTube video this goes on. But you can you can make your own tier list. Tweet it out with hashtag Schlatt hates milk can share it with the rest of the world. This is mine. I feel good about it. Wait, what did Nick tweet? I want a bowl of cereal so bad right now, you motherfucker. This is good stuff. Let me find out Nick Merck's tier list. In fact, let me challenge. Like Schlatt did two of my fellow streamers. Cutie Cinderella. Mostly because we have these 50 boxes, Cutie. You need to please eat some of them. I challenge you and Nick Merck's. Let's see it. Look, you don't have to eat them all if you don't want, Nick. But you can at least make a, a tier list of your favorite cereal. Why not? Hey, come to the Just Chatting site. Look, playing video games on Twitch, thing of the past. Gotta move on.